Hello everybody, my name is Hasty Swampert and I am back on the Nintendo 3DS of Pokemon Sun and Moon and I'm here to give you some real online battles, none of that phony showdown stuff and for today we are going to do the Tiny Tourney and I've been preparing for this on showdown and I bred all the Pokemon, I did all that I had to in order to be in this competition and I made it at the deadline of registering by how many hours? I think like six and a half where I live because the deadline for Eastern Standard Time was eight o'clock on Thursday and today's Friday. So we're gonna be doing day one of the Tiny Tourney which ends in about eight hours. It's 11.47 at the moment, Eastern Standard Time and we are gonna start battling. And if you're wondering about my team, I think it shows it at the bottom, but if it doesn't, oh, hold on. This is the team. So we have Vaporeon, Kartana, Marowak, Omolga, Honchkrow, and Excadrill. And Vaporeon has Scald, Ice Beam, Helping Hand, Haze, and it's holding a Wakanberry for those electric type damage, the electric type moves, which it's weak to. Kartana has a Focus Sash. And it has Leaf Blade, Smart Strike, Sacred Sword, and Detect. Alola Marowak is holding the Thick Club, and it has Flare Blitz, Shadow Bone, Bone Morang, and Protect. Amulga has Thunderbolt, Air Slash, Taunt, and Nuzzle. And it is holding the Safety Goggles, because Amoongus is allowed in this format, because it's all Pokemon that are under three foot three inches. And then Honchkrow has Brave Bird, Sucker Punch, Night Slash, Protect, and it is holding the Fly and EMZ for Supersonic Sky Strike, which does a lot. And then last but not least, we have Excadrill with Drill Run, Rock Slide, Protect, and I was going to give it Iron Head, but then I forgot that Iron Head is a move to remove an Auras, and I ended up breeding it in Alola, so the closest alternative that I could give it is Smart Strike, so it is Smart Strike. And then that's it, we're gonna start the battle. If you register, we are gonna register. Just gonna check the battle team, and once that's settled, we get to start our first battle. Let's go, I can't wait to do this. Whew. Anything can happen. I know there's going to be a lot of Trick Room though, because Parion 2 is allowed, and I have a couple of answers for it. I have the Supersonic Sky Strike, which does like 60 to 70 percent to a Parion 2. It's a locked. It's not a locked. It's a lot. My battle box is now locked. So now that that's done, let's do this. Uh, I'm gonna just. I'll just leave the um, music as it is. Let's see who we're going to battle first. It should show the person's profile and where they're from somewhere. But yeah, that's my avatar and that's my team. Can't wait to do this. Let's see who our first opponent is. And I think you know this, but there's 15 battles a day. And I'm going to try to do all 15 battles in one sitting. I might divide this video up into parts. So keep that in mind. It might be like divided into three parts, who knows. Alright, our first opponent is from Japan, Tokyo. Let's see what he has. Alright, what the heck? A Nidoran? Nidoran's not even that good. Alright. Uh... Oh, man. You know who I really gotta bring? Honchkrow. Honchkrow can do a lot. Uh, Mulga's not even that good in this matchup. So what I'm thinking of is... Cortana's not a bad idea. I have to be careful. Actually, is he going to bring the Heliolisk? Because I have how many? I have three immunities to electric type moves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring Excadrill. I'm going to lead with Excadrill. I'm going to bring... Nah, I'm not going to bring Amolga. Amolga's not going to be that useful. I'm going to bring Cortana. I'm going to bring Honchkrow. And do I want to bring Vaporeon? No, I don't want to bring Vaporeon. How about Marowak? 
Unless... No, Marowak's not a good idea. Maybe Vaporeon. Yeah, Vaporeon shouldn't be an awful idea, but... What can Amolga do? Amolga can actually hit some of his team for... For some damage, but not too much. This is a tough decision. It's just that he has so many... Go he has two ghost types and a dark type. I don't think that's good for Marowak. Ah, oh, shoot. Did I really run out of time? Oh, it gave me a fourth Pokemon. Good. I was going to say, am I only going to have three Pokemon? Crap. But no, it actually picked the last Pokemon for me. That's a relief. Let's see what happens. Challenged by this trainer. Hopefully, the um, bottom screen won't take up. Oh, it's Nido Reno. Thought it was Nidoran. Let's see. This is not a bad leak. Um, bad matchup. I did a good job here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drill run and I'm just gonna smart strike. That's all. Very easy. He doesn't have many switches for, um, drill run. He actually has many ground type weaknesses. And if he brings in his Miss Magus, it's not gonna help him. Because what's going to happen is it's going to still get hit by a drill run because Mold Breaker. But we're going to take out this Nidorino unless it's Focus Sash. It is not Focus Sash. It immediately goes down. That's one Pokemon already. Let's see what happens. What's he going to bring in next? I'm going to take a guess and say Chandelure. He, he has to, um, bring Chandelure. Then I brought Marowak, which... What do I have? I have, uh, Honchkrow. Yep, Chandelure. Saw it coming. Now, what I'm wondering is... Is this Chandelure... Choice Scarf? Or is it, like, Life Orb Trick Room? Now, that I don't know. So I think what I'm going to do... Is this. I want to go for a Rock Slide. Try to get a flinch off, and I think Whimsicott has Focus Sesh. So I'm just going to go for a Rock Slide. I'm going to switch out my Kartana. Into Vaporeon. Just in case it's a Scarf one. Because if it's Scarfed, I might lose Excadrill. But... Vaporeon can take this, um... Heat Wave, not much problem. Alright. Let's see. Rock Slide, it's not gonna take out that Chandelure. Whoa, but it does a lot. So... Oh, critical hit. Uh, Whimsicott with an Eject Button. That can be problematic. What is... What's he gonna bring in? He's going to reveal his third mod. So once he reveals his third mod, I can be able to play accordingly. Heliolisk, okay. So, what I'm going to do here... Oh, Chandelure flinched, okay. So what I'm going to do... Is, I'm going to protect... I don't think uh, Vaporeon's going to take an energy ball well. Do I have... Man, I don't have much time left. That stinks. Alright, I'm going to protect the Excadrill. And I'm going to go for... It's probably going to double in. So I'm just going to go for... It's going to Scald Chandelure. I might make a mistake here. Let's see what he does. If he actually Heat Waves, that's good. Alright, Wakanberry. That you shouldn't take too much because Vaporeon's pretty bulky. Don't get paralyzed. Thank you. Protected. Perfect. Alright, there we go. Now he just has um, the Whimsicott left and the Heliolisk. Now, 
Heliolisk might rock the... Heliolisk might be rocking the, uh... What they call it. The Focus Blast, but not guaranteed. He has the Air Balloon, so I have to pop that first. So I'm gonna go for another Rock Slide. And I might want to use Helping Hand, just to do more damage. Or do I just want an Ice Beam? I think I'll just go for an Ice Beam. Let's see what happens. I get Encored. What am I Encored into? Scald? That's not a big deal. Oh! I was right. I was right. It has the Focus Blast. Can I take this hit? No, I can't. Darn it. I screwed up here. At least I scalded the Whimsicott and not the, uh... Not the Heliolisk. Okay, who can I bring in? I could probably bring in Kartana now. Because I'm focus sashed. Now here's a question that I have. If I'm correct, I think Heliolisk has 108 speed. How much more Tailwind do they have? One more turn. Alright, in that case, I'm gonna detect... I'm on cord, so I have to only use Scald. I think I'm just gonna Scald the Whimsicott again. Because there's not really much I can do. He protects his Whimsicott. My guess is so he can get another Tailwind up. I think his Heliolisk is gonna... He's gonna Thunderbolt me. That's fine. I have one more Pokemon in the back. Which is good. And we know that Whimsicott's not... Well, we knew that Whimsicott's not Sash because it has the... Whatever they call it. The eject button. There we go. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to Leaf Blade. I might want to just Sucker Punch, to be honest. I'm going to protect. See what he does. Because he's probably going to Focus Blast. I hope he targets my uh, Honchkrow. What? No! I screwed up! Oh my god, are you serious? Oh, two detects in a row. Ah. Uh, okay, here's how I can win. I'm going to Sucker Punch. I got to detect again. This is bogus. I can't stand Whimsicott at times. It's just... Ah, can't deal with it. But I'm just going to go for the Sucker Punch on the Heliolisk. Hey, Dark Types immune to Prankster. No, it doesn't do enough. Ah, I lose. Ah, that's bogus. can't stand that. I'm still on cord, right? Yes, I am. Ugh, I really screwed up here. I really screwed up. I can't... Like, Whimsicott. You're annoying! Ugh. It's just the encoring shenanigans. It's like, ugh, end my life! <laughs> Hopefully not too many people heard hear that, um, outside. But you know I don't mean it, I'm not... I know there's more to life than these shenanigans. You should just miss Focus Blast for me. Yes, Encore ended. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Wait, is he, is he just gonna Encore me again? I swear to God, he's gonna Encore me again and I'm not gonna like it. He encores me again. Ugh. Why is this legal? 
This is so unfair. And now I'm going to struggle myself to death because of that. Unless I can pick another move. If I can pick another move, then I should be fine. My Encore just ended. So now... Smart Strike the Heliolisk. Encore me again. But it failed. Oh, do I win? I might actually win. Let's see if we win. I really hope we win. The reason Encore ended really quickly was because I'm out of PP. Unless he has, uh... Unless he's faster. Is he faster? Ah, nuts. He's faster. That's okay. So freaking close. Ah, oh, I wanted to win that. I really thought I was going to win that. But I didn't. I lost. And now I'm lower. Alright. I gotta get my act together. I gotta really... I need to seriously get my act together. But Whimscott... You, you're, you're a pain. Go away. Uh, we're not gonna save this match because it wasn't that special. We're gonna keep going. It's only the second battle. We'll see who else we're gonna find. And while we wait, I'm gonna get a little sip of seltzer. Oh, thank the Lord. No Whimsicott. All right. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to lead a Mulga. Because I can taunt things. Taunting things is good. Uh, what else? The Ditto is scary. Ditto's a scary Pokemon, and I don't want that to cause too many issues. So, no Marowak. I think we're going to do a Mulga. We're going to do Excadrill. I'm going to bring Vaporeon in the back. And then I think I'm going to bring Kartana. Do I want to bring Kartana? Well, I'd bring Kartana because it's like the thing that does the most significant damage. Or I can bring the Honchkrow. But I need something faster because Digger Speed is an issue. I have two answers for the Marowak. So, do I just want to go with the Honchkrow? Yeah, he has no flying weaknesses. I'm going to go with Honchkrow. Let's see what he does. If he brings the... Well, if he brings Marowak... If you, I think he's gonna lead like Marowak and Porygon too, because my team is has a good amount of fast Pokemon in it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go Diggersby and Azumarill. Okay, Diggersby and Azumarill is an okay. Yeah, that's not the best. But what I can do is I'm gonna just I'm gonna taunt the Azumarill. So it can't get up a, um, so it won't get up a, whatever it is, a belly drum. Because belly drumming is a problem. I think I'm just going to drill run Diggersby because I'm faster than it. But if it's scarfed, that will give me issues. I'm gonna just drill run. We'll see if it's scarfed. He's gonna go for the Aqua Jet. He's trying to take me out, is he? Yeah, it's not gonna do enough. Taunt the Azumarill. Just so it won't get up a Belly Drum. Drill run the Diggersby. Hopefully it does enough, but it might not. No, it doesn't. Diggersby is a little bulkier than usual. Rock Tomb. Oh, God. I did not ex. Whoa. Oh, critical hit. That figures. Okay. Now, right here, 
I'm going to bring in Hodge Crow. At this point, I want to protect Well, he's going to Aqua Jet. So I think what I can do is I'm going to Supersonic Sky Strike the Azumarill. And I'm going to switch out into Vaporeon. Let's see what happens. Hopefully I did the smart play here. Oh, God, no. Oh, jeez. Can you eat this up? No, you can't! Oh my god, no, Diggersby, stop! Stop! Oh my... No. Come on. Am I really gonna get 4 would Oh, I really thought this team was good! Ugh, oh, so much for all that practice. Whatever. I'm literally getting 4 would This is not acceptable at all. This is the second time that I lost, and I'm actually afraid that I'm not going to bounce back. But I need to stop being so salty. Oh, really? You're going to use your... You're going to use your... Z move on me? Of course you are. Tectonic Rage, of course. This is why I never get nice things. Come on. Why does this... Why did that happen? I don't even want to do all the 15 matches anymore. Just from these two battles alone. On. I need to get my act together. I gotta stop choking. Come on, just just a second battle. We can do this. I'm not gonna lose again. We need to win. Alright, 1484, where are we? 14... I just missed it. What the heck? I feel bad for this guy. Uh, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do Kartana, I'm gonna do Diggersby. Not Diggersby, Honchcrow. Excadrill, and... So I wanna do Omolga. Uh, I could do a Molga. Or I could do Marowak. I'll do Vaporeon. I feel bad for this guy. Well, actually, I don't feel bad for him. Because, kind of, gotta give him props. He has a bunch of unevolved Pokemon. We'll see what he does. So, this guy, another guy from Japan, is battling... I don't trust these Japanese players anymore. They're always full of shenanigans, and they always rock tomb critical hits. That's... I don't think Amolga would have survived it anyway. But he has Snorun, and he has Diglett. So, what we can do here is... I don't want to get too much damage. His... I don't know what his Alola Diglett is, so I'm just going to... Sucker punch it. See what he does. We're just gonna attack the Pokemon, see what happens. If he's really trying to make a team out of a bunch of unevolved Pokemon, that's not easy. We'll see how long he takes. First turn. It's a fresh start. See what we can do. 
Snorunt's protecting. Uh, is the Diglett gonna protect too? Because... Let's see. Oh wait, I forgot. No Tangled Hair? Good. I don't know how fast Trico is. It might be faster than Honchkrow, but I don't know. Geodude. Alright, I'm gonna... I might actually want to Leaf Blade Geodude. And go for... Night Slash. Is it sturdy? I really hope it's not sturdy. It is sturdy. Uh-oh. Who knows what this thing's gonna do. Is it sashed? Okay, no, it's not sashed. Snorunt's pretty frail. It has like 50 and everything. 50 hit points, 50 attack, 50 defense, 50 special attack, and 50 special defense, and 50 speed. Oof. Honchkrow even survives a Thunder Punch. That's kind of sad. But Thunder Punch isn't even that powerful. So who knows? Uh, communicating, please stand by. Hopefully, whatever he brings in. Something tells me he's bringing in Shriko. Or is he just gonna forfeit? He's, hopefully it doesn't take too long. I'm just gonna leave my 3DS on the drawer. Just have a little more seltzer. Charmander. Alright, what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave Blade. And I'm just gonna... Brave Bird. I'm not gonna bother using the Z move. So that would make me, I think, two and one. I, I, yeah. You can't really do too much if your Pokemon are slow and very frail. That's like the problem with um little cup Pokemon. That's what people call them. little cup Pokemon. But he's, re he's really taking a while. I know he can't time stall me because now the timers are individual. But now that I take out his Geodude, and he just has the Charmander left. A Brave Bird Charmander. It's gonna probably take it out. Yeah, no no focus sash. That's kind of sad. Honchkrow goes down from recoil. That's okay. Well, now we won 3-0. And now we're two win. No, we're two losses and one win. So we gotta. We need to bounce back. We can't give up. That was a quick battle. I was really hoping for more special battles, but it's only the third battle, so who knows. Maybe the next battle will be better. What's my ranking? 1485? Of course it's 1485. Because I I suck at Pokemon. That's something you need to know. That's why I didn't win the UPA playoffs. <laughs> I'm kind of joking. But I don't know what's wrong. Maybe just... Whimsicott. But let's see. I When I practiced this team on Showdown, I got more wins and losses. So, I don't know why. I don't know what's wrong with the team. Might be a little... It's not even that slow, but... We have someone from Japan who's 1484... What the heck? Okay, seriously. What is it 
with people running unevolved Pokemon. This is weird. Uh, Molga just hurts a majority of his. It hurts like half his team. Uh, I don't even need extra drill. I'll bring Honchkrow, Marowak in the back, and Kartana. Or you know what? Extra drill because he has no. He only has one ground immunity. <laughs> Look at the Weedle. Weedle, Magikarp, Dewpider, Meowth, Pharaoh Seed, and Grimer. I wonder. I'm gonna guess is the person's Weedle has a Focus Sash, and I don't want to assume the person's gender because I know there are plenty of people who will have like female avatars when they're really dudes, and that just really screws with me. Might have not been the most politically correct thing I said right at this moment, but I don't care. Nobody can police what I say. It's free will. But let's see what this person with the second person with completely unevolved Pokemon has. All right. Meowth and Grimer. Ah, uh, you know what this person might have? Fake out. Uh, I want to. I want to get rid of. Um, I'm gonna switch out Meowth into, not Meowth, Omolga into Excadrill, and I'm just going to. Uh, do I just want to Night Slash the Meowth? Will it survive? I don't know. But I'm gonna guess that his Meowth has Fake Out. Oh no, just a forfeit. Oh well, we're two and two now. Why'd you forfeit? Should have at least tried. Maybe the person's trying to find like other unevolved Pokemon teams to fight, which I don't blame her. Him. I'm just gonna say her. Now we're gonna be at the fifth battle. These battles are going fast. I've only been doing this for like 20 something minutes. To be honest, I thought this was going to be like two or three hours, but no, I don't think so. Now I'm 1501, so I'm like kind of back at the original starting position. Well, starting number. And we're tied now, so we'll see what we can do. We can do this. And I might also, I'm going to also do this Sunday, but not tomorrow, because tomorrow I'm going to be working. So let's, we're going to see. Surging for an opposing trainer. Um, someone from Kyoto. I don't know their names because I don't read Japanese characters and I can't translate them. Okay. Parion 2 again. Alright, right here. Omolga, Kartana, Excadrill, and Haunch. I, I really think that's the way to go. Unless I want Vaporeon to haze away Belly Drum. You know what I'm wondering? What if the Azumarill has Sap Sipper? But it, it's not a Parish Trap team. So I'm really thinking that with Kartana, I can take it out. Or I can hit the Mimikyu. And then Excadrill is kind of an answer to Kartana. And then... Yeah, this should work. Uh, Masquerade's gonna be a... Nah, it's not too much of a problem if I taunt it. Or if I nuzzle it, because nuzzle it will slow it down. Nuzzling is gonna just slow it down. So we'll see what happens. But I'm really thinking it's gonna be like Porygon and... Other Pokemon. Do I have something for the Marowak? No, if he leads Marowak, that's gonna be an issue. Because I don't have Night Slash on Kartana. Okay, Parion 2 and Azumarill. Right here. Right here. Uh, special attack rise, that's okay. I'm gonna... Taunt the Parion. 
and I'm gonna Leaf Blade Azumarill. Hoping it's not Sap Sipper. Like, I've seen a few Sap Sippers on Showdown. He withdraws the Azumarill into Marowak, okay. That's okay, because it does some damage. Not a lot. What? He uses Ice Beam on my Amol- Oh no, Kartana. Don't freeze. Don't freeze, please. Please don't freeze. Thank you. Okay. Uh... Uh, what do I have in the back? I'm just gonna target Marowak. I don't think I'm gonna do enough. So because of that, I'm gonna just go for the Sacred Sword and the Paragon 2 and do some damage. I don't think it's gonna do that much. It's probably gonna do like 45. Yeah, oh, no, 50. And I'm just gonna Air Slash. That does not do a lot. Uh, you're gonna Ice Beam my Amolga. That's alright. I guess. Because what I can do now is I'm gonna bring in Honchkrow. I'm gonna go for the Z move. And then I'm gonna go into Excadrill. So we're gonna we're gonna supersonic sky strike the Parion. And I'm gonna drill run X not um the Marowak. And I don't think um whatever it is. Parion I don't think usually runs protect, so we're just gonna nuke it. Get rid of Marowak. What? Cursed Body? Who runs... Why Cursed Body? I don't understand why you would run Cursed Body. That's strange. Like, Rocket, I understand, because Flare Blitz Recoil is devastating. Especially when you're slow. But wouldn't you usually run Lightning Rod? I'm kind of not pleased with that, but it's okay. Parion's gone. And what does he have left? He probably has Cartana left and Azumarill left. That's just that. I'm just guessing. I know he has Azumarill. That I know. Ooh, I knew it. Okay. So what I'm going to do here... I actually can't hit... Um... I can't hit the... Oh man, I can't hit the Cartana for super effective hip. How long does Cursed Body last? Oh, it's Disable. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do... Do I... Oh, crap, I'm running out of time. Okay, Kartana. Uh, I'm gonna Smart Strike a Zoomerill. No. Rave Bird Azumarill. It's probably gonna Aqua Jet. No, um, what's he gonna do? What the heck? Normalium Z. What's it gonna do? Breakneck Blitz Cartana? What? Who runs that? What? Are you seriously going to do that? Eat it! No! Why? Why would you run that? I give up! 
I'm so done with Pokemon. Okay, I'll come back. Normalian Breakneck Blitz? <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'm speechless. Who in... Who runs that? Like, I'd understand, like, all-out pummeling, but... <sighs> I always lose to the weirdest crap. <laughs> see who else this is the fifth battle and I'm 1486 want to get higher though like oh man no I'm so frustrated but who's the <sighs> okay okay this thing all right uh I want Vaporeon. Uh, Vaporeon. Let's say a Molga. A Molga. I can't really do anything to the um the Raichu, the Alola Raichu. That's an issue. So how about? Amolga, Excadrill, Honchkrow, and... I kind of want to bring Marowak, but he has like three things that just dunk Marowak. And maybe Porygon also can just dunk it. So, Kartana maybe? Now, a lot of things actually do wall me. I'm going to go Vaporeon. Let's see what he does. He's dreadlocks, and he's... Yep, another guy from Japan. I wasn't looking, because, you know, I had to step out of the room. Needed to... Well, I wasn't able to collect my thoughts in such a little time. But I needed a breather. Raichu and Chandelure. That was what I was afraid of. Actually, no. We, we did okay. I'm going to nuzzle the chandelure. And I think I want to actually... I would rock slide just so I can hit the chandelure. Just hit both mines. It's a good idea. Let's see what he does. Is he going to protect or is he going to... He's going to fake out. Fake out Molga. No, I didn't want that to happen. No, now I'm going to lose... Ugh. God. Hopefully I can paralyze this Chandelure. Critical hit. Come on, get paralyzed. Make up for my mistakes. No, of course I... I'm seriously out of it. Did Of course Excadrill died. I can't play Pokemon for my life. And Amolga's gonna go down soon. That was, that was depressing, I'm gonna be honest with you. That was Im that was bad. Did he reveal that whether or not he was Life Orb? I think it's Life Orb. I'm going to Thunderbolt, Chandelure, and I'm going to just Scald. Oh no, he's going to switch into Amoongus, okay. 
You're gonna psychic my Amolga, that's okay. Because now, I'll bring in Honchkrow. I get to Scald Raichu. Hopefully Scald does a l No, that's not a lot. But... Now here, I'm going to protect Honchkrow and Scald his Raichu. Because I have the Wakan Berry. I can take it. Yeah, his Raichu didn't protect. He's going to Thunderbolt my Vaporeon. Is he? Nuts! No, I didn't expect that. Alright, I need to be smart about this. I Actually, no. I lost again because you know what happened? Heat Wave took out my Excadrill. Did I not protect? No, I went for a drill run. And his Raichu faked me out. That's the problem. Raichu is fake out and I'm kind of ignorant to that. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to be that guy. I want to go for another protect. I'm gonna I lose anyway, but I'm just gonna supersonic sky strike his Amoongus. And I'm just going to Ice Beam. I think the uh game already picked my move. Alright. Uh please Thunderbolt the Vaporeon. No, we didn't fall for it, of course. This is so embarrassing. Why am I playing so terribly? No, I meant to click Ice Beam, you stupid video game. I forfeit. I give up. Ah. I'm doing such a craptacular job. I don't want to do this anymore. Seriously, I, like... Because I just lost so many times. <sighs> Come on, I gotta get more wins. Like... <sighs> Can I not get... Well, I can't always get what I want, but... Like, for the love of God, can I just at least get out of... 1400s, please? I don't know. Alright, so it's somebody from California. Is it Amoongus? No, it's Pachirisu this time. Alright, alright. Follow my lead. Vaporeon. Alright, I'm going to do Vaporeon and Excadrill. Cartana. And I'm thinking Honchkrow. You know what? No, not Honchkrow this time. How about... Marowak. Because I'm going to expect him to do follow me Eevee boost. If I can just haze away the boost, he's in a lot of trouble. Are you kidding me? Okay, you know what? This isn't gonna work out.
Do I just want to... I might want to just drill run the Cartana. I gotta save Vaporeon. Wait, he might actually try to all-out pummeling the... the Excadrill. Do you think he's gonna do that? Wouldn't rule it out? Wouldn't rule it out. No, he goes for a Leaf Blade. Oh, good. And it should take it out. Bye, Pachirisu. Mimikyu, okay. So with Mimikyu... What I should do is, I should... What do I want to do? Do I want to... Man, this really gives me limited time. These battles are just way too fast for me. So... I can, uh, Smart Strike, maybe, but he might actually just... He's gonna just Leaf Blade the Excadrill. So I'm... I think my best bet is to Flare Blitz Cartana and Smart Strike. I think I'm out of luck here. I think I just keep bringing the wrong Pokemon. It's gonna Sacred Sword. If Mimic you... If, uh... Whoever it is can survive one hit from a Mimikyu. If you can eat this Shadow Claw. I never get nice things. Even like the worst opponents beat me. This is depressing. You know what? I think I'm just gonna give up at this point. I don't wanna play anymore. I'm just gonna forfeit. I lose again. I give up. I'm not gonna do all 15 matches you know what I don't think I'm even gonna I don't think I'm even going to do it day two because I just keep losing I know I shouldn't I shouldn't act this pessimistic but at this point I'm kind of upset that I can't even get a sink I only got like two wins and that's it so I'm not going to battle anymore. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, which you probably didn't, but if you did, I would like it if you leave a like, comment, subscribe. That is if you enjoyed it. And I will see you all next time. And yeah, don't expect a day, day three. Day two, I'm going to be busy tomorrow. Day three, I don't have the motivation to do this. I just, I don't know what the heck happened. Just, I thought I was doing well in Showdown, but then this team is just flopping on the battle spot. I don't know. Ah, what am I going to do?